How is everybody doing? It is Nicholas Renner here with another video. I'm going to be going on a little hunt, pest control mission, 50 degree day out today to stop the invasion of the raspberry tree, the raspberry bushes, and all the other plants that the squirrels always love to get into, destroy, and des destroy them for a change. Stop them from destroying the agriculture on this land, okay? PETA, all the vegans out there, too bad. Come and stop me. You ain't gonna do nothing. I just want to say thank you to all the people that subscribed, all the people that like my gun control videos, debunking them. A lot of it, it I've come to the point where I'm not going to I'm not going to be that guy and look at every single argue back and forth on phrases and all this different stuff. OK, but because at, at the end of the day, we all know. So 2008 Supreme Court decided to say, hey, we all have an individual right to own firearms. OK, it's not just for militia. It's not just for, you know, these people that are so think they know so much about the Constitution, but they, they can't just figure out that we have a right to own firearms. Um, before the Supreme Court ruled that, everybody still had firearms. The Founding Fathers had firearms, and everybody moving up to that point had firearms. Many of, during the Civil War, many of the Confederates, they, they joined up. They, they had their own firearms. Same thing in the Revolution. We all had firearms. We didn't need the Supreme Court to tell us, but that was enough to pretty much tell these leftists out there that, no, we have an individual right for self-defense and other purposes to own firearms. And the leftists out there don't agree, too bad. We have firearms. You can complain all you want. Come and take them. Come and take them off of us yourself. All right? So without further ado, I'm going to get unloaded here. I'm going to be using a pellet gun today, a 22 pellet gun, the Gamo Bone Collector. It's a great air rifle. Sighted it in. We're going to be using it to clear off these damn squirrels. We'll see if there's any out here on this 50 degree day, but I will see you once I got it loaded up. So here's what it looks like. It's a great, great rifle. Mean wood stock, little cushion pad here. Comes with a scope, it's decent. It's got, you know, adjustment. It doesn't have, it doesn't have parallax adjustment. Has some type of recoil mitigation, but the greatest thing about Gamo is which I wanted one is this 10 round magazine. So you can keep shooting, you just cock it back, you put it in here, you cock it back, keep going, you just keep going. You don't have to fumble around with individual pellets. And I'm sure you guys have seen plenty of videos because this thing has been around for a long time. But I'm going to get it loaded up, bring some pellets, and we're going to go hunt these suckers down. So this is how you load it in. You can buy additional magazines as well. It just goes like this. The bottom, this clip, just like that. Let's go. And then all you do is cock it back, like that. They sell a magnum. I want to get the magnum next. It's got a lot more power than this, but we're gonna go hunt them down because we want raspberries this year, and that's something we're not gonna let them take. A lot of their natural predators, non-existent, but I'm going to be one of them. I'm going to be coming out with more gun control videos. One on Trevor Noah's full video. It's going to be a full video instead of a short. Instead of keep making these shorts, it's going to be one talking about the actual effects of what they're doing. It's going to be actual breakdown instead of, because I there's always so much time in a 60 second short where I can actually go over everything, explain it to you guys. 60 seconds, I got to allow them to play it, then I then I don't have much time to talk myself. So, number one thing is I'm going to tell it how it is, let them have their peace, and for a full form video, I have as much time as I need to actually make an argument because in these 60 in these 60 second shorts, I'm allowing them to have their time. And then I can barely have time. I just make this quip Okay, I'm just making a quip. I really can't make an argument. And then you got all these leftists in the comment section saying, "Oh, they're they're all they're all triggered." Okay, but um, let's go. I know I keep saying it. Let's go track them down. See you when I do that. So right now I'm searching. I'm searching the trees. 
I'm going through these trails. Okay. I haven't seen anything yet. It was about 11 degrees the other day, and now it is 50 degrees, so that's kind of kind of the state I'm in right now. I don't know. It's about 1 or 2 o'clock. It's probably a bad time. I should have came out in the morning. If I don't see any, then I'm just going to shoot this, show you guys how it is, how it works. We're searching high and low right now. Searching high and low. And I also want to say, what do you guys want to see? Comment down in the comment section below what you guys want to see next. You want to see dirt bikes, fishing, hunting, all different types of stuff. Say everything, but I'm into all that different type of stuff. I'm into fishing, hunting, shooting, dirt bike riding. Got a couple steeds in the stall. CR500, that needs a lot of work, so I don't know if we'll be riding that. But I have an XR650R, a relic of a long lost era that I'm sure a lot of you would want to see ripping through the woods or ripping through the streets because it's street legal and i got dual sport tires on it but um without further ado let's keep going i haven't seen anything yet but i probably should be quiet so we'll quiet down keep looking and unless something interesting has happened i will be back so what i'm going to do because i can't actually spy anything just yet I'm next to a pile of tiles, a little bit of a rhyme. I'm going to set it up, show you guys the power of this thing. These are just old tire tiles that have been left on this property. Here's one of the tiles right here. I'm going to set it up and show you guys the power of this rifle. So you can see the tile is right where I'm pointing, right here. You get into a good spot so you can see. There you go. Let me see what it did. It went straight through. Made a clean, clean cut hole right through it. Now, if that was a 22 LR like rifle, that would have shattered, would have shattered the whole entire tile. We'll do it one more time and leave myself enough ammo to kill those squirrels if we stumble across them. Something ricocheted. Yeah, I, I might. I, that might not be a good idea. So I hit a riveted part of it. Definitely not going to do that again. I didn't think these things got power, but I guess not as much as I thought. I'm pretty close too. It ricocheted right off of the freaking thing. That's crazy. Now I'm going to be paranoid that I've gotten shot and not even realize it. All right, let's go. Let's go find them. I need to get that Gamo Buddy Sling because this thing's a pain in the ass to carry around while I'm carrying this tripod, this phone. It's not the, not the most convenient in the world. But I'm still trying to figure out what should I need in this video because if I can't find any squirrels to shoot, I don't have a bunch of watermelons to line up to test it out. Figure it out in a second here. So there was no squirrels. We're going to transition this video into a damage effectiveness. 22 pellets versus... 22 LR, what is the difference? It's not gonna go, I don't have ballistics gel, I don't got watermelons, I don't got any of that. We're just gonna do a basic test real quick to try to redeem this video, because we didn't get any pests. We'll try to hit up a couple of my buddies and see. We can get a day together, we're gonna all go out, go hunting some squirrels, pest control in reality, because they're causing a nuisance all around. So we got two roofing tiles here, just your standard roofing tiles. That's all they are. What is going to happen with just standard federal 22 rounds versus actually I'll do it, do the same thing here. We're going to use hollow point pellets and hollow point 22 LRs. See the difference, see what's going to happen. So let's go inspect the ammo real quick. So we have these mini mags. They are hollow point, copper plated, copper jacketed. And we're using premier 22 pellets. The 14.3 grain. How many grains are the 22 LRs? The, the 22 LRs, they're 36 grains. So roughly a little bit over double for the 22s. But what we're going to be using is a lever action 22. We're going to start off with the pellet rifle. Let's get into it. So we're going to test out the 22 pellets right now. The last time it ricocheted back almost hit me. When I was testing it out earlier, you guys, if you watched to this point, you saw that. I'm trying to stand a little bit farther back. Aim for a not riveted part of it. See what happens. I know the 22 rifle is not, that's not going to happen. Hopefully. But let's do it here.
let's go see what happened so completely different than the last time well not really it, it hit in an area where looks like there's one of those ribs but last time it went completely through this time it just ricocheted off thank god i didn't get hit and i've broken this i've broken this pellet rifle in i've shot it a bunch of times i dry fired it once on accident but gamo claims that their fire their air rifles can be dry fired i didn't test it after that but i, I just I, for some reason i just it's it's feeling a little bit underpowered i don't know if it's the ammo i'm using i don't know if i messed up the rifle but i've shot in bottles and the bottles have blown up so i don't know what it is i know 22 pe pellet rifles going a lot slower but we're going to test out the 22 lr firearm this is the 22 we're going to be using 22 henry standard 22 i have those hollow points loaded in there and now that i have it tipped in a certain way it's going to uh, load up properly of course so there's a safety we're gonna try this right now same hollow points completely different grain these are going a lot a lot faster let's try it out a lot different That was all she wrote. So there, there's the difference. 22 pellet gun, couldn't even get through it. The 22 LR just shattered the whole thing to pieces. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Leave your thoughts. Tell me what we want to see next. This is just a short little video to talk to you guys, show you a little bit of fun. It's not, it's not really a review or anything in depth where we're shooting watermelons, comparing chronograph, okay? I'm really just trying to put, put something out there for you guys to watch on the side. It's not going to be the longest video. I got to check if I got ricocheted or shot with those pellet guns, those pellet rifle, because sometimes you can't even tell from what they say. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Nicholas Renner. I will see you on the next one.